What's going on everybody? Welcome back to my tiny garage. Back for part three of this Craftsman Tiller repair. On this one here, we are going to get ready to put the transmission back together again. Uh, so I have went through and I've cleaned everything up. Some pieces that you might not have seen in some footage, depending how I got it all done. I went through and finished cleaning up the insides here of the housing itself. I've wire wheeled it all, taken all the gasket off, and I even put a light coat of paint on the inside of both of these. So these should be set for a long time. They should be all ready to go there. On these other inside bits and pieces, I took them through my parts washer, got all the grease off of them, all the dirt off as best as I could, and uh, we should be ready to reassemble. I took them through the wire wheel, got all the rust off. They should be should be all ready to go back together and hopefully in service for a good many years after that. So let's go ahead and jump in and get started. See if we can't remember how this thing goes back together. All right, with the best memory we have and our best paper drawing, let's see if we can remember how to get this all back together again. It called for a lighter grease, a NLGI-1 rating, which is very hard to find. I, I had to really struggle to find this. Looks like Mobile makes some, Mobilux EP1, uh, which is what we're gonna want. It is a thinner type of grease. Most everything you're gonna find now is a NLGI2, which is just a little bit thicker. Uh, the best manual I could find on this is they're calling for an EP1 or an NL NLGI1. So I was able to find this, unfortunately, it is in tubes, so we're going to have to open them up and kind of do it the hard way, but at least I was able to find the right stuff. I was able to get our detent all back and open, so I'm going to pull this out careful not to lose the ball that's in there and put a little bit of grease on that I'm going to assume it goes down and then it gets caught behind this rib here. Like that and then like that. That's the shifter. So up here is the shifter and you move that up and down, which should move this gear up and down, which selects which gear you have in here. And I, there's a there's a cutout, like a little hand, on this block, and it looks like it fits right into that, so that way it moves the gear up and down. Because otherwise it would move it one way, but it wouldn't be able to pull it back. So it has to fit into that groove. So I just put that little thin one on there, and then I should be able to slide this on, I believe. That's the way everything looks to me. Okay, there we go. That's in there like that. Okay, so we're gonna slide this down into that. Okay, that's now in there. 
that's engaging. Okay, so I'm gonna drop this down in there. like this yeah I would say that's probably right This needs to go down first. This goes down on top. This goes down and meets and meshes into all that. Yep. And this goes over top. That gets pressed down there. Now the chain goes around. And this spacer would go in over top. See what causes this whole mess? This is the shifter right here. It's sticking out. There's supposed to be an O-ring on there, there's not. And I let all the water right down into it and down in this whole assembly. Okay. Got everything back together. Everything seems to be working just fine. The gears seem to be cycling as best as I can test them. So we're gonna go ahead and fill this up with more grease and then we will put the gasket on and reassemble from there. See how much this is going to fight us going on. Looks like it could be a little fun. 
Hopefully not too much though. Let's hope it goes back on a little easier than it came off. Before I go and put that on there too tight, see if we can't get this gasket in worked around a little bit. Try our very best to get all the holes lined up. Okay, from here we should be able to put our flywheel back on, or our drive wheel, I guess. Put our snap ring back into place. Verified is down in. Perfect. Okay, now, should be able to test this out. So right now we are in till mode. So we can see that our front shaft is moving and our tine shaft is moving. Need a little bit of leverage here, so if we tap it over into forward. There we go. Our axle shaft is moving for our wheels, and our tines have stopped moving. One more over should be neutral. There we go. Nothing is spinning, and one more should be reverse. There we go. Our drive axle is moving in the reverse direction. So there we go. Problem is fixed. Everything's back together the way it should be. That's awesome. There we have it. That concludes our transmission reassembly. It is back in working condition again. I was surprised that we didn't find more wrong with it. Uh, but everything is cleaned up, reassembled. It works butter smooth now. Absolutely butter smooth compared to what it did. So we're going to conclude this here as of part number three for our Craftsman Tiller series. On our next video we will go ahead and reassemble the rest of the tiller back together and hopefully get it running at that point so stay tuned for the next one and until then that's all i got thank you guys for watching i really do appreciate it we will see you on the next one